With the debates almost over and election day close, it is time to decide. And if you're looking to get involved and help your candidate or still need some information before you head to the polls, News Channel 5's Molly Reynolds with some smartphone apps to check out. All right. Now, of course, both the candidates have their own apps, but then there's, of oh, course, the ever-changing polls. And mm -hmm. for that, the Poll Tracker app is a good one to download. It doesn't just measure the presidential race. It also has congressional contests. And you can use the app to mark your favorite races, and it will even send you polling updates. And Poll Tracker is free for the iPhone. The New York Times also has a handy app. This is for both the iPhone and Android devices. And this one has the latest news, polls, and live election night results. It's free, but you do need to be a subscriber, and you can get the information on both of these apps on WPTV.com. And in trending tech news, Apple is set to drop the iPad 2 when the iPad mini arrives, hmm. and we'll get our first look at the iPad mini next Tuesday. And the rumored starting prices go from anywhere from 250 Fifty dollars to three hundred and fifty dollars, and this is the iPad 2 right here. It's about a year and a half old, and that's an eternity, I guess, in mobile technology years. Well, even though they're dropping it, there'll be so many on right, face. Yeah. I mean, on eBay and all that kind of right. stuff. So it'll it's not, still be around. But they that's interesting. They're just ones. not going to make any more. Right. So on to the new, sense. new and better and smaller and all that. Right. <laughs> Molly, thank you. Shannon. All right, thank you, ladies.